Hi everybody, I'm Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse, and it's day 31. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Oh Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, thank you for showing us truths in your word each and every day. Father, help our eyes to be open so that we can see them. Help us to be humble and to accept that sometimes you just give us crumbs, but those crumbs will add up. Father, thank you for being generous with us, for loving us even though we don't deserve it. Thank you for being who you are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay. So we are reading 1 Corinthians 15, 21 through 24, All right? So it says, for since death came by man, okay, he's talking about Adam there. Since death came by man, the resurrection of the dead also came by man. So there he's talking about Jesus. So the first death came through Adam and then the resurrection of the dead came through Jesus. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive, but each in his own order, Christ the first fruits, then those who are Christ at his coming. Then the end comes when he will deliver up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he will have abolished all rule and all authority and all power. Okay, so let's read that in New American Standard. It is 1 Corinthians 15, 21 through 24. For since by a man came death, by a man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive. But each in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, after that those who are Christ at his coming. Then comes the end when he hands over the kingdom to the God and Father, when he has abolished all rule and all authority and power. All right, go ahead and pause the video and read that in your Bible and then come back. All right, so what really speaks to me today? Hmm. For since death came by man, the resurrection of the dead also came by man. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive, but each in his own order. Christ the first fruits. Then those who are Christ that is coming. Then the end comes when he will deliver up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he will have abolished all rule and all authority and all power. Huh. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to have a throne here. like a very nice throne does it <laughs> um, okay and then I don't like to draw God the Father because we don't know what he looks like so I'm gonna put a big cloud here and then we're gonna have Jesus okay and there's a reason why I'm drawing Jesus really big you'll see in a minute okay so this is Jesus Okay, and he's going to hand God the kingdom. I don't know how to draw a kingdom. A castle, I guess, maybe? I do not know how to draw a castle. Let's see here. <laughs> I don't know. Does that look like a castle to you? There's the tower. Can you tell it's a castle? And it's it's his kingdom, so it's gonna have to be full of light. So let's make some light coming out from it. Light, or does that just look like smells? <laughs> it looks like smelly cheese. Okay, and Jesus is happy when he's presenting the kingdom to his father. And let's give him, he has like shoulder length hair, right? But we want him to look like a man. We don't want to have him looking like a woman. OK. 
Okay, so there he has a beard. Okay, then the reason I made him so big is so that we can make all of us as his body, right? So here we are, all of us, we're his body. I guess I could have put us looking out of the castle windows, maybe. <laughs> that would have been kind of cool. We're his body and we're his kingdom. Okay, so there's like millions of people who are actually billions. I think I looked the other day at how many Catholics, just Catholics, there are in the world, and it's like 1.9 billion, I think. Well, so all Christians all together even more than that so just in the world right now not to mention you know Christians who are already in heaven or in purgatory so you guys you know that there are three parts of the church there's the church militant which is those of us who are still on earth. And the reason that we're called the church militant is because we're at war with the forces of Satan. We're not at war with people. We're at war spiritually with the forces of Satan. Okay, so that's the church militant. And then the church suffering is the church in purgatory. People who are Christians, they're on their way to heaven, but they just have to take care of some of their temporal punishment. Jesus forgave their sins. He, for, he gave them the eternal consequences of sins, but we have to pay our temporal punishment. Um, and then there's the church triumphant, which is the church in heaven, the Christians who are in heaven. We're all one church, but we're divided into those two parts. Okay, so here we have Jesus, we have his body, which is all of us, and he's handing God the kingdom. Okay, he's handing the Father the kingdom. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, and we need a I don't know if we want a horizon. We've got this horizon for the throne. I don't know where Jesus is to be. Okay. Well. Okay, so let's dump out our crayons. You know what I just realized? I just did the doodle. <laughs> I didn't fill this stuff out. Okay, so we're gonna do it backwards this time. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys, I am so screwed up. Okay, so we're gonna do it backwards this time. We're getting the morning, <laughs> we're getting the drawings for the morning, and then we're gonna do the Bible study part this afternoon. I mean, just, you know, mix things up. I should have acted like I knew exactly what I was doing and like, yep, this is how I planned it. But nope, I'm not that smart. That is too funny. I just went straight into the picture instead of doing the journaling part. Okay, that's really funny. Okay, and Jesus always wears like a really light brown, right? In the movies at least. I wonder what color of clothes he really wore. This is so funny. I drew this whole thing without noticing. Did you guys notice? <laughs> Did you think, what is she doing? Okay, we want to have the windows be yellow because there's light inside there because this is his kingdom. I want more of the yellow. There we go. That is too funny. I did the whole drawing before I even realized. Okay, and then the brown. Guys, I am so out of it. I'm sorry. But you know what? Sometimes you just do have to mix things up a little bit. So we're just going to trust God on that, right? Okay, and then do we have a darker brown? Well, no, but we have another brown. So this will be the throne. Maybe I should have made the throne gold, huh? Oh well. We call God the Father, him who sits on the throne, to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb, the Lamb is Jesus, 
be glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Okay. And God is light. I want the yellow to be yellower look yellow. God is light and in him there is no darkness. Since I did a little bit of orange there on the edge, I should do some orange on the whole edge on this side. Okay, let's blend that a little bit here. Okay, and then let's make a nice blue sky. Oh, you guys, that made my day. <laughs> Somebody was telling me that it's a good thing I can laugh. That motorcycle has been going by all day long. Somebody was telling me that it's a good thing I can laugh at myself. <laughs> and it is a good thing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and Jesus. Jesus is kind of a... He's Mediterranean, so I think he's darker brown than I am. All right, you guys, boy, <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, I love you all. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Lord, thank you for just letting me do what I did. <laughs> Father, um, Lord, I think that it's good for people to see that I make mistakes. It's good for me to make mistakes in front of people so that we all know it's okay. It's really okay when we mess up. And you will work everything out for good. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus, thank you for letting us be part of your body. I'm so looking forward to the day when you'll hand the kingdom to your Father. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb be glory and honor and power forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you all. I will see you this afternoon for the journaling part. Bye-bye. <laughs>